What's up? What's going on? My name is Karen Sony, and I'm the founder of Aesthetic Diets. I'm a sports nutritionist, professional golfer, and living with multiple sclerosis. Hope everyone is feeling incredibly blessed. Hope they're feeling very, very positive, and hope they're excited about today's topic. Today, we're going to be discussing motivation for all of my my multiple sclerosis rock stars out there. Okay, so with everyone who has multiple sclerosis or any sort of an autoimmune, we're all rock stars. And I just want to make sure that I share a lot of positivity with you and just let you all know that we all understand each other. And I, I have to tell you something, and this is kind of a little bit amusing, okay? So obviously I research a lot and I'm pretty up to date in what's happening new in multiple sclerosis as well as what's happening new in diets. Well, guess what? In April 2019, the Mayo Clinic actually just released an article basically saying the same thing that all of us knew ever since we first got diagnosed. There is no cure for MS. Why? Because they still have no idea what causes it. They're trying their level best, don't get me wrong, but they really don't know, you know? So they're almost like in a way, they're, they're really, really, you know, A for effort. They're, they're making all the effort that they can but at the end of the day, they have exactly the same conclusion as they did when I first got diagnosed about 15 years ago, which there is no cure. They have no idea what causes it. They have a hypothesis. So what has been told, especially even to me, right? So when I got diagnosed when I was 14, 15 years ago, um, what they had told me is that, you know, multiple sclerosis is generally, it only happens to people in North America, maybe in Canada, um, maybe to certain parts of Europe but it does not happen to Asians. I'm Indian. So we know that that doesn't really make any sense. They also said that it predominantly only happens, happens to women. Again, it doesn't make sense. I have a lot of my clients who are male and we have MS. Basically, what I'm trying to go with you on this about, okay, so we all already know what our symptoms are, okay, so we get it. Um, we feel numb, we get a shooting electric sort of a pain in our neck any single time it like moves the wrong way. Um, sometimes obviously it feels as though we have pins and needles which are throbbing in certain parts of our body. Uh, we obviously have stiffness. Um, we sometimes we obviously tremble. Sometimes our vision gets a little bit blurry. Sometimes you have double vision. All I'm really, really trying to tell all of you is just one thing. We know all this, right? But we're still going to kill it. We're still going to be rock stars. We're still going to party hard. We're still going to be, we're still going to love even more. We're still going to do all the things that you probably should not do, but you're going to do. Why? Because this is our rebirth. Having MS or having any autoimmune, use it as such an advantage because I promise you it is. I am in exactly the same situation as all of you are in. There are days that obviously you don't feel that great, but there are days that you don't understand why is it that I just feel, I feel kind of okay now. Why does that happen? It's quite simple. Because MS is really managing stress, the couple of things which I sort of identify with, when I'm happier, I really don't have the opportunity to think about how I'm feeling that much. So I obviously try to surround myself and I know this sounds really, it sounds really impractical because you can't surround yourself doing only happy things, but I try as much as I can to surround myself with a lot of happy situations. So I surround myself with happy food. I surround myself with a happy environment. Um, I like quiet, right? But at the same time, I do need to see a lot of activity. And uh, I sort of, that is my energy booster, right? So when I see like a lot of people, I get a little bit energetic. And sometimes that, that helps me keep going. One thing I did notice, right, is that even though I try to probably walk slower myself, I actually walk better when I'm walking faster. I don't know about all of you, and I think this will probably be a question that I can throw at all of you. Do you feel as though when you walk faster, that your balance is actually not that bad? I'm just curious. 
Because I know mine, any single time that I do walk faster, for some odd reason, I don't have the opportunity to actually feel as though I, I don't have that much balance. I just feel as though I'm like Speedy Gonzalez and I'm just like going like, you know, with blinders on saying, oh, there, there I have to go. So I'm just kind of curious. Anyway, um, like I told all of you, we are all rock stars, man. We're, we're great, okay? We're meant to do amazing things. You're doing amazing things. And we will keep sort of exchanging notes and uh, yeah, let's just be there for each other. You guys love each other. Be kind, be good, be blessed. And just, uh, just do something every single day that puts you out of your comfort zone. Because I promise you, it's just going to get you closer and closer to just finding what it is that you're meant to do. Love all of you and be blessed.